The incident you're seeing now is no doubt familiar to you. EMS providers are often confronted with patients in cardiac arrest, and we're trained to do everything we can to give our patients the best chance for survival. Increasingly, studies show that the most important thing we can do during cardiac arrest is to provide high quality CPR. When we perform CPR, our hands are the only thing keeping blood moving. We are the patient's life support. Recent data from the Rock Prime study shows that survival is directly linked to the quality of CPR performed. We already know that hyperventilation is deadly, so performing CPR well is a big responsibility that requires high quality at every step. But what is high quality CPR? Let's demonstrate some of the essential components. Begin chest compressions immediately. The sooner compressions are started, the better. Remember, time is tissue. Avoid unnecessary interruptions. Providing continuous chest compressions helps establish and maintain perfusion. Every time we stop compressions, even for a moment, we are losing vital blood pressure that we rely on to perfuse the vital organs. Push hard. Remember, you are the person's heart during CPR, and the heart contracts with a substantial amount of force to circulate blood. Make sure you compress the chest at least two inches or five centimeters. Allow complete chest wall recoil. After each compression, the chest wall must completely recoil in order for the heart to fill with blood. If you lean on the chest, you compromise blood flow back to the heart. So pay attention and allow complete free expansion. One of the inefficiencies of conventional CPR is that air is drawn into the chest as the chest re-expands. This wipes out the vacuum that we rely on to fill the heart. The Rescue Pod ITD corrects this problem by selectively preventing air from being drawn into the chest during recoil. This optimizes the vacuum in the chest. Studies have shown that this increases blood return back to the heart, lowers intracranial pressure, and increases blood flow to the brain by 50%. It's also important to avoid hyperventilation. Ventilating too often or with too much volume prevents blood from returning to the heart. Ventilate at the recommended rate and with enough volume to see the chest rise. More than that is not good for the patient. If the airway is unsecured, provide two ventilations during a pause after 30 compressions. If the airway is secured, provide asynchronous breaths at a rate of eight to 10 ventilations a minute. Compress at the correct rate. The Rock Prime study showed that compressing too fast or too slow impacts survival. Compress the chest at least 100 times a minute. The American Heart Association recommends the use of adjuncts that help promote the proper rate. Timing lights on the Rescue Pod ITD flash 10 times per minute. To achieve a compression rate of at least 100 per minute, you need to be doing at least 10 compressions per flash. To achieve a ventilation rate of 10 per minute, you would ventilate once per light flash. The Rescue Pod also comes with the Rescue Timer, a training aid offered with each Rescue Pod. It flashes 100 times per minute to help providers get the correct compression rates. Remember, the correct rate does impact survival from sudden cardiac arrest. Data from a large randomized controlled trial, the Rock Prime study, was recently presented and showed that when chest compressions were performed at 100 to 110 times per minute, observed survival was at least 25% higher when an ITD was used compared to CPR without an ITD. So the Rock study showed that high quality CPR can make a difference. How big a difference? A 25% or more improvement in survival could mean an additional 15,000 lives saved in the U.S. each year. Your patients will appreciate that. We recommend you check your local protocols to ensure there are no conflicts with the widely accepted information provided during this ACME Minute. Visit AmericanCME.com where you can earn CME credits towards your EMS license. As always, every course at American CME is completely free. For more information on the Rescue Pod and the Rescue Timer, visit advancedcirculatory.com or knowtherate.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.